Louis, Leah, you're all going to make your debut against Wigan Warriors for the Hooker Affairs team. Can you just tell us about the, the moment you found out you are going to play and, and what was going through your mind when, when Willie read your names out to, uh, to play against the Warriors? Yeah, uh, we were sat in the meeting. I remember that was the first time I'd heard anything of it. And I looked on the, the team sheet and they'd, they blanked out centre. It was a bit, it was a bit of a weird feeling. I think I started like, I don't know, feeling, feeling pretty nervous then. Um, and then when Willie said my name and with my number next to it, I, I was just, I was just shocked. It, um, it's a feeling you can't really describe, really. We're going to make a debut. He's a guy that he lives this. Okay, he's lived it ever since he's, he's joined the squad. He's a quality person. Okay, and I know how much he wants to play first grade and that's going to become a reality this weekend. It's uh, Louis Gorman. Well done, mate. Good Come on, mate. Lenny, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, going from Yorkshire squad and then you moved to Hooker, and now you're going to make your debut against the Warriors. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's happened quite fast, to be fair. Obviously, I spoke to Willie at some point just after the Yorkshire game, and he said, I really like you at Hooker. Uh, I want to try at Hooker. And since then, obviously, I've jumped in at Hooker, and I've I've loved it to be fair, it's been quality. So just hopefully can get in against Wigan and you know do a good job there. Similar values to, to Louis, um, great person, great trainer. Um, he's actually changed position, so he was in a certain position and then we've moved him into, into a hooking role now and he's just done it with no fuss. Um, you know, he's a competitive little thing. I don't know he's not gonna let anyone down this weekend. Anything else? Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy actually to be making it. Went down to Cornwall and the physicality's up there because we've had a tough week at work and they just want to bash someone. And it'll be similar to Super League, obviously, they do, they do it professionally that week in, week out, and they're really physical, so it'll be, it'll be a good experience to be put in the middle there. He's aggressive, um, I saw that in the Featherston game. But the game that stood out for me was when we played FC here a few weeks back on a Saturday. It showed me how much this club means to him because he ripped and teared and they, we got beat that day. but. Leo certainly didn't let anyone down. Dino's been a real good leader this week. He's brought us on really well. Um, he's, he's hammered home that effort is the way we're going to do this this week. Um, it's, we know that we're going, it's a tough task going to Wigan away on a Friday night with, with um, a really young team. But yeah, it's, the boys are going to go out there. We're going to put in a massive, a massive shift and hopefully we can do the fans proud. Growing up, all, all you want to do is make your parents proud and whatnot. So to be able to share that moment with them, it's, it's unreal. So yeah, it's just one of them big things that you want to be able to appreciate them moments like that all the time. So yeah, loved it. I thought my dad was at work this morning. Uh, he rocked up uh, to give me my shirt, and it was uh, well, I was a bit shocked really that he turned up to be honest with you. But yeah, it was uh, it was quite nice actually because he's he's supported me all like, all the way from my journey. He's been taking me to training and to games since well since I was like 11 or 12. When I, when I turned up in the meeting and Willie called my name, mum and dad walked in, it was really special. Um, yeah, it was great to share that moment with them. Gents, good luck against the Warriors and do the club proud, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.